Hey guys, so as you already have seen from the thumbnail, we're gonna make this in 3D. And yeah, I always have in my head like, okay, you know, we... Most of my audience are like guys, so we're gonna make something manly. And then I see something like this and I gotta... <laughs> I gotta make it, I don't know. I like this dumb cute stuff. But yeah, it's beautiful art made by... This guy. He has some other cool stuff. So I'm curious, maybe we make some more what he has made, but yeah, if you like his stuff, follow him of course. I don't know him, he doesn't know me, so maybe we can give him a good surprise. So yeah, let's just jump into Blender and just um, start creating this. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this to the right of me, and now I can see the forms, and you guys can just follow whatever I'm doing here of course. But uh, I like to keep it just on the other side so I can see the sizes and whatever I want. So first thing, I want to scale this down. Um, and I'm gonna put on the screencast keys for you guys, of course, so you can see what I'm typing. So I'm just scaling this down. And the nice thing about this is we're gonna sculpt it at the, later on. And... And because we're able to sculpt this, it just gives us so much freedom, you know? Like, we don't have to do exactly what he has, but it's just a nice reference for it. So, we have this bottom plane here. This will become three of these planks, right? So, what I like to do is I'm just gonna uh, go into edge select, select these two edge loops, Ctrl B, and then just slide them out a little bit and scroll one time up. This creates another edge loop here in the middle. And um, well, these edge loops we can just delete very easily. So you just select them and delete. Now I'm just selecting one of these edge loops and just click on F and that fills, as you can see, just fills it up. Here, yeah, I select this, F, F. So yeah, this is just those three planks very fast done. And we can, uh, I would scroll them down a little bit more, but we can sculpt them very easily like this. We just need to separate them, but we'll, we will do that later. So this will be our, let's just call this wood base planks, something like that. Um, next thing we have is a wheel. So I'm going to get a cylinder, rotate it around the Y axis, scale it a bit down and it's quite big, but course it's not this thick so I'm gonna put it a little bit less thick like this and then put it against the planks <clears throat> so now it's time to look at your reference picture and look yeah is this the same thickness is this as long as we want it so now you can figure out a lot of stuff so I think this should be maybe even a little bit longer and our wheel Actually, it looks, looks, doesn't look too bad, so that's good. Let's get a cube in here. Scale down. Move here. And... Um, duplicate it. Scale down. Move a little bit here. So those are these things here. So they should be a little bit smaller even. But yeah, something like this. So the thing is, what I want to mention here, um, we're gonna sculpt these things later. And you can see that we need to make these lines in here, cut that off, have this line here. And because we want to do this, there's um, a very handy thing with sculpting and that is get your all these edges or all these faces at a as square as possible faces so here you can see that they they are quite square so that's good but here we have a face with way too many vertices so I first want to get rid of that and also this one and I'm gonna select it extrude scale down and then just give here some edge loops. So these are quite square and then I'm happy with that. I'm gonna do the same here, extrude down. And what I also want to do is to fill this up, extrude, Alt M at center. So now we get 
at least th three vertices instead of uh, four. And now here also scroll a little bit up so we have four vertices. And I personally would do another edge loop in here just because they're a little bit closer to the size of these ones, see? There's a little bit of difference in them, but that is okay. So here as well, if, if we want to sculpt this, I like to give these a little bit more density. And personally, I would delete these faces here because we don't need them. But that can also be when you create your low poly. In this part, we're not really gonna create a low poly. Um, that's just gonna be too long. Uh, but if you really wanna learn it, I got, I will get like some course on that, of course, some uh, tutorials. Okay, so I'm just resizing everything because if you look at this, you can kind of see what like what goal we're going at. So I want. I think I want these planks a little bit smaller, so I'll uh, scale Y. If you figure the main shapes out and how big everything is, it will all come together later. So put some time into the first, yeah, the first few minutes and really just look at your skills because that makes the whole image. Cool. We're gonna create a cube and this cube we're gonna put to the right and scale it around uh, the y-axis UI, and this will be this part so you can see that it matches up in the inner part of this last plank also this one of course and then it goes quite far and in the back I don't think it will go all the way in the back so we need to uh, make sure that doesn't happen so G So around here, and I'm gonna move this one a bit further. And let's look here, we'll just match this part up. Around here. We don't see that anyway, so um, yeah, we just do it like that. Awesome. So let's create another cube. I'm gonna scale it a bit down and move it around uh, here this will of course be this little side piece I'll do it a bit smaller and then of course move it up and it will be around this size now I'm gonna put some mirrors in here because I want to create these planks uh, like this one here and this big one here and they will also be on the other sides, of course. But because we have to, to create those planks, we need to have these uh, mirrors around these sides, right? So these are mirrored, so we know how long the planks are. Add a modifier, mirror, and we're gonna mirror this one around our planks because, yeah, that just works. So X and Y axis, and now you can see that those match up great. We can also mirror this if we want. I just like to mirror everything around the object here, our wheel, mirror it, and then these two of course also. Awesome. So we just need one more, oh well actually two more cubes, but let's create one first here. Scale Y, GZ, scale. And now we can see how far we want this. So I think I want it more in the middle. I'm gonna put it here. This will be great if we mirror this. Also around here, we have two of these. Create another edge loop, or create another cube and this one will be a bit smaller I like to have him more thick though than in the picture
around here will be great. And let's just do the back one the same as this one, so we're just gonna mirror it. Around the y-axis. Awesome, so I'm gonna take one more glimpse at our model, and then this one. I think this should be all a little bit lower, so I'm gonna put it a bit lower. And then these ones as well, so you only have to do one, right? So that's nice. Awesome, so I think it is time to just name everything. So we have our wood base planks, we have these side uh, wood side, I don't know, pillars. I'm so bad with names, but it's just for yourself to kind of, you know, separate them. Um, wood side planks. And we have wood front slash back planks. Then we have um, wooden handles. We have our wheel. And then I just call this wheel cube small and wheel cube big. I know it's annoying to do this, but yeah, let's just do it. It's, it's just so much handier to just have this. And what I also like to do is put this in a collection. So this collection, and this will be our wooden cart and every single piece that we just made can go in this wooden cart. Okay. Bam. So now if we hide it or unhide it, it's just our wooden cart is here. And that's it. So save this and let's go on to the next part.